Can Hong Kong become an EV city? In some ways, we already are. These iconic trams, they've served Hong Kong for more than a hundred years. They're a reminder that EV technology is nothing new. In fact, electric-powered vehicles competed with petrol at the dawn of the automobile industry. Petrol, of course, won out. But EV technology may yet have its day. The 1970s oil shock, the price of oil soars, automakers promise new cars that will run on electric. It was a pattern to be repeated in the early 90s. And it's a pattern we're seeing again now. It's fair to say the excitement about EVs today could just be history repeating itself. However, the experts we spoke with see things differently. Finally, after a hundred years, they believe EV technology is gaining speed. And they also believe Hong Kong can lead the way. Hong Kong has a very unique position to promote electric car. Because the area of Hong Kong is small, so the travel distance, daily travel distance is small. And also Hong Kong is the window of the world. Uh, we are international city, metropolitan. It is a window of the world. If electric vehicle can be proven, work well in Hong Kong, uh, it, it give inspire. Despite the optimism, there are obstacles. Concerns about range, charging points, and cost need to be overcome before EVs can be widely adopted. However, the concerns which restricted early EV efforts no longer apply to today's models. The technology is there for a certain application and for a certain price. Uh, but I, can, I cannot say that it already can meet, fully meet the can fully meet or can fully accept by the market. There are three factors which need to be tackled before we see large-scale take-up of EVs. First, these cars need to perform favorably when compared to the cars we drive today. Because Hong Kong is a small city, most of vehicles only driving in Hong Kong. If you're driving from one side to the other side, then usually there will be a buffer about 30, 40 kilometers. So electric vehicle in this application will be really good. For someone like my car or all the other electric vehicles, we can actually the driving range for heavy charge. Then we can use it 100 to 160 km. So that would be very suitable for Hong Kong driving. There needs to be a wide selection of dependable and safe EVs to choose from. At the moment, Hong Kong just has the homegrown My Car and Mitsubishi's iMeV. Secondly, a charging infrastructure needs to be in place that is widespread and convenient. So maybe government can build up an infrastructure. So that can be uh, for the whole car park, we can install the charging system for the other car park. So in this case, the people can very easy to get their car charged. So I think many people have to start to do work on the charging system. There are plans to have 21 charging facilities in public car parks in place by the end of 2009. We currently have two such EV charging stations in Wang Tai Sin and Yunlong. Thirdly, the cost of buying, charging and maintaining an EV needs to be cheaper than the upkeep of a combustion engine vehicle. For example, the IMIF per kilometer if used electric power from China and power in the current size is talking about 15 cents compared with $1.50 of a gasoline equivalent product. So it's a great saving. The savings made by EV drivers on fuel and maintenance is actually just one of the advantages of owning an EV. For Hong Kongers to make the switch to electric, they'll need to understand the benefits. In addition to financial savings, there are also environmental benefits. Switching to EVs will help bring pollution down at the roadside level. Businesses also stand to gain from having the opportunity to develop an industry in batteries, charging systems and electric motors. There's a chance to make Hong Kong's only car manufacturing plant with the easy to make and locally designed MyCar. Everyone stands to gain from the introduction of EVs and everyone's support will be needed to realize the possibilities. We have to work together. We have to work together. All the stakeholders must unite to work together. The government, the government must take a leap. With the government lead, this cannot be done. So the government must take a leap. The government must have a commitment for the development and promotion of electric cars.